Over 100,000 people played this level, but I found shortcuts literally no one else found to get the world record time. And this level has a surprise at the end that makes it one of my favorite levels ever, and I'll be both levels in this video. Near the end of this level is the coolest shortcut I've ever pulled off, but I essentially broke the entire level. Like here, I do a glitch super jump by perfectly pressing three buttons within a split second. It gives me extra height, and I immediately wall jump to hit this block. It drops a bob-omb that normally, you would throw in the pipe to line up with these blocks. But it's actually faster to take the bob-omb myself and precisely throw it at the blocks. And here, I move as fast as possible to knock this enemy off to get a key and make it to the next section. This section has more optimizations to save time, like falling through this bonsai bill as it explodes to wall jump off the thwomp as fast as possible. I quickly activate this thwomp and do some tight platforming to avoid getting crushed by the thwomp, and I can jump across the spikes. Now, I'll speed this up a bit since it's just tight movement, but coming up, I was able to outsmart the creator and found a very strange shortcut that saves the most time in the speedrun. The intended path looks like this. Throw the shell to keep activating this on-off switch, which changes the red and blue spikes down here. Carefully platform form across the spikes while waiting for the shell to activate the switch. Hit the pow walk to destroy the shell so that these blue spikes stay off. Now instead, it's barely possible to make this work. Hit the shell with Mario's head and immediately enter the pipe. Perform a long jump off the last pixel of this platform, jump as low as possible to avoid the ceiling and reach the next platform, immediately jump into the pipe, and activate the pow walk right before the shell hits the switch. There's about a tenth of a second of leeway to make the shortcut, and it saves seconds of time, which allows for more time to hit the subscribe button. Now, there's more tight movement where I grab this pow block and take it through the pipes to use as a platform to enter this pipe, and I complete the level beating the previous world record time by over 2 seconds. Now, this next level has a neat trick to it that makes it one of my favorite levels ever. Right at the start, I do this double jump that I have to keep until the end of the level, and to keep it, I can only move around using these twisters. Sliding on the wall or landing on the ground will reset the double jump and make you fail the level. That's why I move around these platforms to activate the thwomp and open the path to the next section. I drop this shell into the spring so it launches and breaks this block to drop down a twister. And now the level gets even harder. I drop this shell on my head to use as a helmet so I can bounce the spike ball to activate this switch, which opens the wall of blocks. With very precise air stalls, I can bounce this shell on my head so it gets launched by the spring into the pow blocks, which drops this bullet blaster. And now, I drop this bob to activate the switch, and I line up for this very precise trick where I kick this shell into both of these blocks so it hits the note block for me to jump off of. Now, remember that double jump from the beginning of the level? The precise movement throughout the level was so I could keep the double jump for this triple jump right here, which gives me just enough height to enter the door. And whenever I achieve something, I like to celebrate by putting something up on my wall that symbolizes my achievement. So since I beat 100,000 people and that's equivalent to the population of the US Virgin Islands, I put them on my wall. 